So remember the big mattress? It's not a big mattress anymore, it's a couple of small mattresses. So we've cut, this is the butt part, and then that's the back part. If this is going to be a plane horizontally, these are going to come like that. So that's one bench, and then this long strip, is, you'll see where it's going to be. Master seamstress Sylvia is helping me with this uh, sewing. We had to oil this machine, but now it's uh, it's working like it should. We're using the original underlay of the mattress for the butt parts, uh, and then. On top of that, there'll be the the IKEA fabric. So we got from the bare foam to a finished little mattress by reusing the original mattress wrapper that came with the mattress, the IKEA mattress, and the zipper. So this is the butt piece, and this butt piece will be wrapped in the material that I got in this one. This is the material. It's like a blue jeans material kind of from IKEA. Getting there. So here we are in my garage. <laughs> I never get told is it? Sylvia finished the pillows. Well, she needs to do another zipper on this. But man, she did a fantastic job with this one. Check this out with the zipper protector also. I mean, thank you. This stuff is amazing. So, I've tested the bed. It's quite it's quite comfortable. It's really nice. It does the fabric that I found didn't doesn't really match the shade of the but it's blue anyway and it matches the it's alright I like it they're sick they're really sick these pillows so that's how the bed will look and I'll show you how the normal seat is gonna look Ta -da! this is how it's gonna look um, as a seating section and I forgot while the bed was there I did make a uh, a one piece little foam block like this. I had a spare. So that's going to go there as like a back support and when the bed is there it's going to be like a, so you don't touch the cold wall. That's kind of cool. I love it. I love how it turned out. Um if it makes sense when I wanted to do these pillows myself this is the design that I had in my head and Sylvia was professional enough to make that thing happen without me portraying too much of my vision so I think people like this you should have around because they're wicked so that's the seating section that's done I still need to put that piece there it's just brilliant so when that piece is completed, there's a 15 centimeter long piece across here. So that that's that's gonna be quite cool. Thing, can't wait for taking it to for a spin. Really, the only thing I need to do now is make like a little handrail here for Max's bed and build this cupboard here. However, I'm gonna do it. I don't know yet. But I think I'm gonna lay low for now with it. So I got some work to do for the actual work. So mainly I'm happy with it because it's quite done. I still need to fit that there properly and maybe another one of them here. I'll probably make new ones and I'll probably replace this table because I don't like these. So I'll probably do that. But I'm super happy with it. I mean, it's it's functional. 
Oh uh, yeah, and I still need to finish the bathroom. But that's details really. It's not like we're gonna use it now, so I don't see us using it until say March next year realistically. But it's quite ready. Maybe we're gonna use it for some poker nights. Well maybe. We're gonna use it for some poker nights until then.